Singles can prepare to be homemakers with the use of time. It is important to note that time is a very priceless asset that everyone has equally. You get in return what you make of it. Some people assume that because they are single, time management isn't priority as such. So you find them sleeping through the mornings because they do not feel accountable to anyone. They'll usually make it a habit to procrastinate until the dying minute. It is important to know that how you relate with time now as a single matters a great deal and can transcend into how you do this as a homemaker. When you procrastinate schoolwork or office work, it matters. Do things at the right time and see what difference it makes. You constantly stress your mind when you try to finish things at the last minute. When you become a homemaker, what will save you stress from the services you do around your home will be evident in how you manage your time. So what better time to begin practicing time management than now? The second point to take note of is to learn to clean and organize. We underestimate the importance of a clean space to our well-being. We oftentimes think that we clean just because we don't want to pile up dirt or appear disorganized. But it has been proven that the state of our spaces say a lot about the state of our mental health. When you someday start a family, there are also several aspects of the home that need organization and learning these skills now in this phase of your life can help a great deal when you become a homemaker. Some of the things we plague our minds with worry about in the home are simply things that need organizing. Get these skills and save yourself a lot of stress or unhygienic issues as a result of not maintaining a clean space or organizing the several areas of your life where organization is necessary and needed. The third thing to take note of is money management. What is or are the sources of your income? How do you save or invest what you make? How do you manage money generally? Do you live from salary to salary or do you have budgets that guide your spending? Do you see money as a tool? Do you see it as a seed that can be planted and made to multiply over time? A lot of singles misplace priorities by using this phase of their lives trying to see how they can please the Joneses and spending on and showing off what doesn't add value in the long run when they can wisely seek to be financially educated. Learn money management now as finances is a great part of marriage. It becomes easier to work with your spouse when you both have the right financial knowledge. On to the fourth point. The fourth point to take note of is the need to learn how to cook. Food is very essential for the good of the family. Thankfully, unlike the older days where recipes could only be passed down or got from hard copy books, we have amazing content creators that share several recipes you can learn from. You do not want to have your family live on junks or only on unhealthy meals got from fast food. This way, it makes everyone very mindful of what you take in. Even while single, you deserve wholesome, well-cooked meals. Learning the skills or the art of cooking is a great asset for yourself. Sometimes, laziness makes us binge on the available things around us, not minding their effect on our lives. But somehow, find a way of affecting one in the long run. While learning to cook, it makes you get accustomed to several things, from recipes from far and wide to several kinds of ingredients, even to money management when it comes to food. You find yourself understanding nutrients, meal preps, and varieties when it comes to food. Another aspect with food is the need to also learn the art of entertaining people with food. Sometimes, invite your friends over for meals so that it allows you to try out several things that your friends and loved ones can enjoy, from plating to table settings to learning how to make several course meals. This in turn fine-tunes your hospitality skills as well. The last but definitely not the least is the fifth point, which is on the need to have a relationship with God. It is God who will give you the time or money or food or whom you want to manage or acquire skills for. 
it is here you need to navigate the single phase and transition into being married. So it is important that you find him now that he can be found. Having a relationship with him is beyond the activities that you do for him in place of worship. It is a knowing in your heart that he is the one you follow and he lives in your heart and is reflected in your deeds. I hope that this video has inspired you one way or the other. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye.